Okay, I'm going to show a little bit of a, a more complex shape and another technique. And by the way, you can either pin your piece in, in place or you can actually um, take a few loose basting stitches to hold it down or even use your invisible baste if you really want to make sure the placement is correct. Um, one of my favorite things is, um, and I'm using the heart here, is to draw the line um, but use the variation of, of actually not hiding it. Uh, and what I like about this is it gives it, it gives the edge kind of a shadow and it gives it also a, a nice sketchy quality. It works really well if you're using white on white or very neutral colors. Now when you come to a spot that goes inward, this is where you really want to clip. And you, you've got to take a clip right where that point is. Um, and you might want to clip um, ahead of time or as you go. I tend to do it as I go because if I can't get the edge to lay flat, that's when I cut. So in this case I'm not hiding the line, but I'm actually just turning up to the edge of the line. Now you may get frustrated. Some fabrics are harder than others. You, you have to find the kind of fabric that you're most comfortable stitching. You'll want to go right into that point and you'll want to sweep that other edge underneath and then take your needle and kind of, I call this sweeping, but it's it kind of a, a, you just kind of clean that edge and tuck those ends in and then take some tinier stitches in this inner part. Now, as you can see with this, the line varies. You know, you can hide it in spots or leave it thicker in others to get a really nice sketchy kind of shadowed effect. And you just keep going and that's another way with a little bit of variation on looks on how you can work it.